Space Radio with a brand new game. Give it to me by Mr. Bjorn, so thank you to Mr. Bjorn. It's called the Gallery. Oh, we'll definitely have, definitely have subtitles on. Paul's Choices on. Let's start. Here we go. Choose your protagonist, female 19, or male 20, 21. We go old school, we go female 19. Each is goes in real time, time counts down. Now we keep it paused. So it's sexual nature. Ooh, sexual nature. Drag my concerns with the boobs. I mean, I think the... That's not what I meant. Oh, why should I look like a patcher? Accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson, often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a powerful visage. And the artist has mainly used round and filbert brushes to perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Fair enough. It's an awesome piece. Well, if you like that, I think you'll absolutely love this piece. It just came in last week. Oh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, sorry, it's just, uh, don't get to see a lot of indie portrait exhibition these days. Portraiture has always been my thing. <laughs> what can I show you next? Uh, well, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't really find what I came to see. Dig at the afro. It was the, uh, Prime Minister's portrait. Arriving tomorrow, sir. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, I guess I'll have to come back then. Mm -hmm. That's a nice picture. Thank you again for visiting, <sighs> sir. Please, call me Taylor. Uh, is she all right with those easels? Oh, uh, uh, don't mind her, she's just my intern. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor, I'm Morgan. Pleasure's all mine, Morgan. Uh, if you don't mind my asking what time you finish, maybe I could hear some more critiques over a drink. Oh, wow, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? Yeah, you know, this is set, this be nice. What I usually go for. <laughs> And it'd probably well, be racist. Just a number in my mind. The bar on the high street. 8 p.m. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, date night. See date night there. trophy. Yeah, dirty hussy. <laughs> I'm in trick. How many customers was that for the day? Five. Right. Um... Title card. Was that the last of the easels, Sam? Yes, it seems. I arranged them in the storeroom and cleaned the toilets just like the boss. Is there anyone else left in the building? No, it's just us. I'll lock up early then. Is there something wrong with your back? No, it's nothing. Um, I took some painkillers in the office. OK. We've got a big weekend ahead. I need you fighting fit. <laughs> of course, I will be. There is one thing, Morgan. Um, I've been interning here for a while now, and I've learned so much from you, um, including what you look for in good portraiture. Oh, Sam, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we just haven't been turning over enough for me to pay you. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. That's a bit sus. 
Whoa! Oh. Do you think it's good enough to have a small part in the exhibition this weekend? Oh. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be nice. I mean, she didn't ask. She didn't ask for the money. Hmm. She didn't seem too annoyed that she was going to get paid. So, fuck it. We'll say yes. It looks right at home. Congratulations, Sam. You have your first exhibited piece of art. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't need to say anything. Your talent earned this. Thank you so much, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> now go home and get some rest. We're going to have a lot more customers this weekend. I'll be in early to help you receive the Prime Minister's portrait. Is that the scene that they did Eric, um, Erica? Oh god. Looks like me. Britain has been torn asunder! Hardship is befalling the populace like a plague! What is our future? Eh? Eh? What is our future? On it. Is he threatening you, madam? No. Yes. You need to oh, listen to Alright, alright, quiet down, quiet down. Yes, get rid of him. Skull. Yes, um, he, he, he snuck up on me and shouted at me and he destroyed my radio. Right, fella, don't make this difficult. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace, mate. I'll take him to the road and radio in. Oh, the no messing trophy. You get to read him his rights as you go. Yeah. Come on. Why is he giving her the evils? What's she do wrong? Mm. Is it broken? Seems like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks an expensive model, too. It was. Well. Me and my partner will be on duty locally through the night. We'll be alert to any disturbances. Appreciate it. Is that your disappointed face? Nikki, of course not. You'd never see that. It, it's my extremely surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I owe the pleasure, Mr. Dryden Oaks? Well, I was just passing through the area. I, I did see some police hanging about outside, though. Oh, just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Uh, uh, let me show you the exhibition room. <laughs> Last minute edition trophy. Why did why did she give the portrait an evil book though? Powercut's very 1970s too. Oh, the manners electrics haven't been refined for a while. But they'll be back on you shortly. <sighs> As if by magic. <laughs> and uh, I've made space, especially. Oh, well. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Uh, oh, you brought it. <laughs> uh, what about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it. Don't worry. 
I thought you'd appreciate a personal delivery. Who knows? The extra attention might even reel in some buyers for these others. Oh, the profits are from admission only. Everything else is about showcasing the portraits. Questionable business model. You're gonna get that. Sometimes a little small. No, I don't know why it's not... Urgent. Nikki, uh, not here. No better place. You owe me this much, don't you? What the? Whoa! Hello! But... Oh, I'm so confused. Does that... No, I'm not even going to say that. I knew no one would disturb us. Now, guard that case with your life. I, I will, Nikki. I promise. Oh, I'm so confused. Freaky. <sighs> oh. Morgan Haynes speaking. Hey, the exhibition's closed. I'm going to select some more work. Oh, cool. It's me. Thank you. Th yeah, thank you, Cordon. I'll have to take that. Uh, look. I think I was there, Damien. The family, wouldn't you? Jamie, I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, all it is is um, I just need somewhere to bed down over the weekend. And it's the last time, all right? I promise. I'm not in a position to help you anymore. No, but I'll, I'll repay you with interest. I can get some um, like investors for your gallery and um, I'll sort it all out. You're still here. Whoa, look at that hairstyle. <laughs> I told you to clear this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fucking dare. Look, Morg, I've got... I've got no one else to call. Ah, hang on. Oh, oh, seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. Is that Lady James? Excuse me. Oh, hi. I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. Oh, no, um, of course not. That's that's what they're out for, customers. Yeah, it's a bit rickety. Could do with a refurb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your... I'm port. sorry, sir. We're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we've got a big weekend and so... Hang on, how did you get in? Uh, the front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. I typed in my passcode and saw it locked, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we, we, we saw it. Tell you. I walked right in. That's yeah. not possible. Know your place. Hmm. We put them in an electrical fold. But you've never had any power cuts or anything. It's not uncommon in old properties like this. Oh, yeah, there was, wasn't there? Turned a lot with my own hands after I came in. Wouldn't want someone lifting these. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, yeah, she's. Well, they aren't. I definitely made the wrong decision there. Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? Not a well versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, sir, we have a big day tomorrow. We're, we're closing early. Oh. Yeah. 
Dryden Oak's portrait of the Prime Minister. <laughs> How did you pull that off? I met Nikki at a function at the World Trade Center in New York. We hit it off. We finally found a way to collaborate. Wow. <laughs> An artist with Nikki's profile helping out a well, small exhibition like that is quite something. She's doing me a great favor. With no strings attached, too. I'm Dorian. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like... Uh, Dorian Gray. <laughs> Ironic, eh? It's a lovely name. <laughs> I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? A faithful reproduction is a fine art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. <laughs> Touché. I've been struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. I never had the talent myself, so I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who do. In that case, could I paint you? You make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. Okay. I suppose <laughs> I could spare half an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. You prefer to paint standing? Always. It allows me to zoom in and out on my subject. Uh, how are you going to pose? Magic. <laughs> um, oh, um, oh I, I, I don't know. I've, um, it's harder than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Stay like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I can have uh, some strong opinions. It was uh, bold but valid. Rembrandt stole his students' work for the last 10 years of his career. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, plastic bottle. Fancy. Mm. Huh. Uh, let's leave it there for tonight. I could uh, sit for you again next week. Let me do your skin tone as a base. <laughs> no, Dorian, I need to get home. I'm not asking for much longer. I know how you artists can get. If I let you start, we will be here all night. Hey, that's a bit sus. All right, uh, this is over. I'm done. I really wouldn't, you know. Stand up and this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Feel under your seat. PAD, a pressure activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. Similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which triggers the detonator. Once you sat down on that chair, you became the safety pin. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Try it. 
Stop it, Chuck. No. You've never been someone's muse, have you? Like Victorian Muron to Manet. Do you want money? No, I'm hard, Picasso. Uh, uh, I could I write you a check. I painted Helga Testoff 247 times. Or a painting. Uh, you you could take of any one of these. Dorian, what do you want? Behind the drapes. Multiple sockets. Fancy. Ow! Someone's really trying to get hold of you. Morgan, are you there? Morgan! Uh, yes, Nicky. I, um... I need you again. I'll be at the Rampton. I've booked our usual suite. I'll make my excuses at home. But Nikki, tonight I really can't. Think very carefully about the next word that comes out of your mouth. That's what she said. I'll take the silence as a yes. Don't let me down. Wait, so. Oh, no. You can't keep me here. Suzanne insisted on dozens of sittings when painting his subject. Goya sometimes needed just a day. I only want the night. Get rid of that shit. Mate, I'm a logger. Oh, it's a bloke! Nah, try it. Try it. Uh, wait, that's rank. Screen. I think I'm done for tonight anyway. What? Why? Oh, my head's spinning. Help! Help me! Do you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the manor. Isn't this the one you punched around today? Yeah. Visiting an art gallery instead of coming to the pub. <laughs> Why are we mates again? Very funny, dickhead. The Calvin owner. Oh shit, she's the drop tonight, right? Oh mate, that must sting. Yeah, probably screaming at herself in the mirror. Yeah. Or some other bloke was showing her a better time. <laughs> You're disgusting. Come on, let's go. Don't do that again. I won't be so gentle next time. I'll be good. I know you will. What's that? Tori? Bloody hell, so you rigged them all up with bombs or something? Take it very quickly. Now, calmly tell me when Nikki's painting is being delivered. First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? Uh, by the back door, just through there. Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. <laughs> Lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. Painting style does seem somewhat practical. You look like you could use a good night's sleep, too.
my reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. <laughs> Artists for all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? <laughs> Where are you going? Toilet. Wash me brushes. You can't leave me alone, surely. What if I try to escape? I won't clean up the mess. Yeah, who, who is that briefcase? I thought. Screaming pain or screaming panic? Good panic. Help! Dorian! Help! What's going on? Yeah. I can't. I can't breathe. Calm down. I can't paint you like this. Uh, um, I have um medication. There are some pills in a cupboard in the office. Thank you. That's, um, that's very helpful. You're welcome. <laughs> you didn't need to hold me hostage, you know. I'd have posed for you beyond tonight, voluntarily. That wouldn't set me apart. What do you mean? The recognition of one's work often depends on the mythos surrounding it. You know the story of the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent? Scandalised for being too sexually suggestive by the bourgeoisie of 19th century France. And now it's one of the most famous portraits in history. Infamy is a strong currency. <laughs> this is some sort of performance piece. A hostage portrait would be a watershed, don't you think? Yeah, that's be nice. I want to be a trailblazer, Morgan. I need to grab people's attention by whatever means necessary. I see what you're saying. Commerciality is important. I'm fighting to survive too. Admissions are at an all-time low. I'm hemorrhaging money from the residency at this manor. So exploiting young workers and compromising your dignity is your solution. <laughs> hello, hello. You need an alarm, love. Come on. No, don't let go. Where's your safe? I don't have one. Now get off me. Okay. There's a bomb under my chair. Why don't you stop talking shit? 
Hmm? Get up! Yeah. You reckon? It, it, it's just one of my paintings. It's worthless. There's nothing in the till. Nah, mate, that'll do. <laughs> no, no, please stop! No, no, no! Please don't take that! Don't, don't take it! I'll do anything! Don't leave! Please don't leave! <laughs> oh, what a night! Right then, guys, where are we going next? doing, do you? You're just a, a, a hopeless, failed artist. A chancer who... Go on. Keep going. I dare you. I'm sorry. I don't suppose you could have used some of that aggression on them, could you? <laughs> so, shall we? There's talent in this room. I could see a few of these on the walls of great galleries. Portrait painting is dying. TVs, Polaroid cameras. People have images on demand now. Why would they waste time and money seeing? Too afraid of what they might see. I think he's been with her partner, what, what? Ten years now. Relationships are complicated. Wouldn't know. There's a bomb on D for a chair. Well, does she know? Yes, she knows. That's right, she's not moving. Yeah. Well, there is a bomb. We don't know if it's a real bomb. It could be a fake. Oh. What do you want, Jamie? Why aren't you helping me? We're family. I can barely help myself right now. He, he was sniffing the uh, devil's lettuce, sir. Uh, uh, so I uh, put the phone down on him. The financial mire you've got me into. I'll just sleep out on the streets then, shall I? Because you know how safe that is these days. So what do you have to do then? Fuck you, you fucking prick. It's an FMV game, so it's multiple choice. Charlie. Uh, yeah, you, you see, you'll see when it comes yeah. up. They give you like wow. a choice. Now, since. What about it? I've been watching, Morgan. Hmm? Why did you choose 1907? It was Frida Kahlo's year of birth, the year of Valaton's portrait mm. of Gertrude Sarah? Stein. And of course, nice. Vanessa Stephen married the great art critic. I've got the choices on pause. Thanks for the history lesson. But it was just a random choice. Hmm. I think he had. They'll come back on soon. I know. But unfortunately, I haven't got all night.
Sarah? Oh, I don't know. You decide. Oh, stand up, stand up. Like I say, it's a blind pay for you, sir, so it doesn't matter. You know what? No. Fuck this. I'm not sitting here any longer. Morgan? The best thing I could do is take you with me. I don't care anymore. No, Morgan. No, no. No, don't do that. Oh, we finished the game early. No, no! <gasps> called it! I called it! Oh, do or die trophy! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, you fucking... <laughs> well done for calling my bluff, but I don't lie about everything. Let me finish my portrait, or I will kill you. Who is that? I don't know. Oh, pigs. This is Sergeant Robin Latif. It's a policeman. Get rid of him, or I will. Madam. Now, these are two policemen I've seen met before. What's the problem? At the start of the game. A group of vandals have been breaking into businesses in the area. I wanted to check up on them. Oh, wow. Um, no, I haven't seen anything untoward. You alone? Yes, totally. Madam, I'm going to come in. Burglarizing thugs? Don't they have jobs? All good here, Sergeant. That is a sergeant's badge, isn't it? Yes, yes. My sister's an inspector, so I know the Met Police ranks quite well. <laughs> May I ask who you are? This is embarrassing. <laughs> He's caught us here, darling. <laughs> You'd have to hold a gun to this one, said, for her to admit she's smitten. <laughs> is this your partner? You can't lie to a policeman, yes. sweetheart. Comply? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, Sergeant. <laughs> I, I know it's deeply unprofessional, but we got uh, carried away. <laughs> it's a bit creepy in there. Feels like the portraits are watching you. Oh, fair enough. Anything else? No, that's it. I can walk up, sweetheart. Who is he to her? Is he a nut job? Ah, uh, yeah. And he just wants to paint her? Yeah. Yeah. He managed to sneak in when there was a power cut. So he's a bit obsessed with her? Yeah, it looks like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously when I play this game again I'm gonna do the ultimate choices to what I picked to see what happens with the story. Yeah. yeah. And try and get all twelve endings. There you go, story affected. Oh, saboteur! <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> uh, we need to we need to see what ending we get. Do we get a good ending? How have? long to the ending? I don't know. Well, I don't no. know how long this game goes for. No one ah. I'm hanging around for a bit. Something's off. Yeah, exactly. They were a cautious couple, Sarge. No need to be weird about it. Sergeant Natif and Constable Jackson responded. We're travelling to the scene. If those policemen had sussed you, would you have killed them? I prefer to avoid death. 
Sometimes the choice isn't in my hands. So you have rules? I have ambitions. Your intern, Sam, what does she get out of this? Valuable experience in the field. For no money. You're exploiting her. I told you, I have no income and I get no funding. I can't pay her. She's one of the few who shares your passion for portraiture. Don't you think you have a responsibility to her? I have many responsibilities. Stop justifying your sins. Sins? I didn't have you pegged for a preacher. You epitomize everything wrong with this country. You take all you can from those below you and give nothing back. What do you want me to do? Make amends. Look, I repaid Sam the best way I could by hanging her painting on my wall. OK, it's not money, but it's the first time her work has been professionally accepted, and that counts for a lot. I had a choice to yes, no, or work on it. I guess I have changes to make to my painting. You really value portraiture above all else. Over profit. Over decency. A very small part of me respects that. Enough to let me go. Let's see. Tell me more about these portraits. You can stand if you like. This was painted two months before the subject died. High contrast background is made all the more vivid by the artist's use of vermilion red. It's a solemn painting. He knew the end was near and didn't sanitize that. I see the reality of age, but also a life well lived. No regrets. Such dignity. What else? This gem of a portrait by Richard Green, a wonderfully classical the style, the broad brushstrokes, high forehead, the straight background. I think we'll probably do his veins. Beautiful light, her skin lives, everyone is in place with And here, had a portrait to create this a sense of verisimilitude. Now, we're very close to. It's appropriate that the poses are so self-conscious. Illusion of naturalism. And the, the high Frank. contrast backgrounds are fun. You're right. There is talent in this room. Talent that I'll always be committed to. What about that one? The Technicolor take on the Mona Lisa. Formally, it's faithful, down to the artist's use of smarter, the blurred softening of the outlines which defined Leonardo's masterpiece. A technique I use myself. The same artist did the piece that hangs in the ante room. So androgyny is their motif? How so? The Mona Lisa is a woman. In popular norms, in opinion, yes. But it's actually a company of Lisa <laughs> Geraldini and Salai, Leonardo's male assistant and lover. Lover. Da Vinci saw that gender was the greatest veneer of all, and that true humanity has no such boundaries. Wouldn't you agree? Yes.
I would. You're on edge. Receptive as ever. He's looking at you. He's giving, he's, he's giving me the side eye. I presume all the paintings are varnished. Mm. It'll help. Wrong. Pure indica. The best sleep aid. Yeah. Um. It's great. All that paracetamol we put into that guy's bottle. Hmm. How come she's sparkled already? I He's it's, not. I think he, I think it's probably not the first time he has smoked the devil's lettuce. Right. And that's probably the first time for her. I bet you're hungry, huh? <laughs> Made it myself. It's been ringing incessantly. Answer it. Hello? You've got a nerve. Should have been here hours ago. That's Nikki. I've had a lot on my plate this evening. Look, you little shit. What I've done for you is unprecedented. All I asked for in return was a couple of fucking orgasms. Nikki, I... Maybe you think me. Or something, but you need to consider yeah. your position very carefully. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's this very isn't sus, really isn't it? Tonight? Ever. <laughs> oh, cute. Look. I'm willing to let this slide if you'll just come over now. You don't get it, do you? This is wrong. I could ruin you if I wanted to. The future of your piss out business is riding on my painting. I'll have to find a way without you then, Nikki. I'm pulling the plug. I want my painting back first thing. Hello, Nikki. Who the fuck are you? All you need to know is my aunt, the editor-in-chief of one of the country's biggest tabloid newspapers. Oh, oh, oh. Blackmail? Morgan, seriously? The media loves an extramarital affair. Art and sex. What a scoop. You have no proof. Wanna bet? Morgan's told me every juicy, shocking detail. Don't call again. You're not getting the portrait back. Sorry, I just couldn't stand her inhumanity any longer. Thank you. 
Is it done? Almost. You know, I'm just opening your eyes, Morgan. You want to get down? So you are a preacher, yeah. then. Please. Religion repulses me. <clears throat> Theism gave rise to the hierarchy. Oh, you need a new mattress. Mm. Plague humanity today. Monarchs, presidents, prime ministers. We're preconditioned to serve, yet we're shocked by the greed of politicians and and bankers scrambling their way to the top of the tree. It's been like this for decades, and it will be like this for decades to come unless someone takes a proper stand. Anyway. Walk. The bottom of the tree would like to speak to you. Who's he? That's the brother, that's her brother. Oh. Hello? Mork, you are, sir. Where are you? I'm watching the sun come up over the Thames. What will Mum and Dad say if they can see me now, eh? The whores, drugs. Shut up, Jamie, please. At least none of the money went to waste, eh? You know what a crazy thing. Hang up all pity. Pity. If I had it all again. I'd probably just do the fucking same. Stop saying these things. You can beat this. Oh, God. We'll get you professional help. No, look, Morgan, please. Right. Can you just fuck me a couple of hundred? Okay, that's all I need. Just, just something to get me by. No. Hello, Jamie. Sorry, who the fuck is this? I'm a friend of Morgan's. Dorian, stay out of this, please. I hear you. I used to work on a hotline for people contemplating what you are. What? Jamie? Yeah, and how the fuck do you know what I'm going through? The sadness will last forever. Those were Vincent van Gogh's last words. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's what you say to your hotliners, is it? No. I told them that even the darkest moment of life is better than the eternity of death. But to others like you, I'd say end it. You worthless cunt. <laughs> no! Language in this. Sometimes we have to destroy part of ourselves to rebuild. Call him back, Dorian, please. He's ravaging this country. How many better citizens have suffered at his expense? Dorian, I swear. Parasites need to be exterminated. The local church choir have got going. Listen to those fools. The glory that they sing of was founded on the suffering of millions. This marvel of faith is unveiled in <laughs> our country. Divisions this prime minister seeks to ignore or even uphold. Wouldn't you agree, Morgan? Break cliches. Stay there. So you wait until he's finished before she runs. Why has she gone upstairs? Yeah, why has she gone upstairs? Why did she go out the door? Help! Oh Somebody god, help stupid cow. That's how we get in the back then, then. <laughs> I said flee for you to escape. I didn't want to tie you up like an animal. After all I've taught you, this is my thanks. I don't owe you anything, Dorian. You're just full of hate. Someone will have heard my screams and called for help. I don't think so. How can you be so sure? 
because your actions have closed off all your options. You've burnt all your bridges. Why are you doing this? <coughs> How bad? For our future, Morgan. It's always been decided for us by the self-interested and the ignorant. It's time to take back that agency. We must weaponize and target the pressure points that will truly harm the establishment. Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. Francis Bacon. Thank you for being part of my stand against oppression. You're taking a stand against the Prime Minister at a portrait gallery. That makes no sense. You lunatic. A fish rots from the head down. The entire establishment is defunct. My actions today shall be a catalyst for change. A stand to show people that with precision and organization, we can destabilize and overhaul the system. Through brutality. It's not a worthy catalyst for change. Change can be inspired, but you need a message that's powerful enough to unite everyone. But da Vinci was born a peasant, so anonymous that his surname was merely the town he grew up in. He committed <coughs> his life to conveying a message through his art. And the world listened. I wish a beautiful message was all it took. If you just have believed in me, we could have opened Britain's eyes together. How am I going to get out of here? Once I walk through that door, start cutting yourself free. Thank you. Well, you never gave me a critique of my painting. Sarah? Praise. Oh. <laughs> you wasn't expecting that, was you? Formally, it's flawless. Each brush stroke is textural and purposeful. It's emotionally in tune with its subject, which reflects your artistic intelligence. Well done. Ooh. Goodbye, Morgan. How'd that water taste? Whoa, you hung me. You've just swallowed a lethal dose of tuinol. Have you heard of tuinol, sir? No, don't know what it is. A barbiturate, Dorian. <laughs> oh, serial oh. killer. Oh, yes. 
I am a murderer. <laughs> Well, I suppose that will be the end of it, but then will she go and try and find her brother? True. Over the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Dorian deceived. <laughs> Let's... Oh, yeah, because there was a load of punks. I don't, uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's a load of punks that, um, that ran all green around those and the coppers. Well, no. Yeah. And we've got 58 scenes. That... Who's, who's he with the tush? That's the brother. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So fifty out. Of, so one out of twelve endings. Dorian's dead. Okay. Now it should it should go to the main menu. Yeah, because look, there's a twenty twenty one version, a male version. Oh. There's the stats for the female. Yeah. Would the male be the sequel? Why would that be too... Might be, yeah. Mm, okay. But anyway, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do it a different day. Okay, go. Right. Alright, this has been Face Radio. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye, Sarah. Bye. <laughs>